Good day. In this video, I shall be talking about the cancer disease. You see, uh, I was in Bharti Vidya uh, from 2007 to 2012, and uh, some of our teachers also did some research on cancer. And using that research, I have added some more research and found that astrology can help you see that whether a person will be influenced by cancer or not and in what time frame. So the reason is that uh, my wife also suffered from cancer, my sister-in-law also suffered from cancer and very recently in the month of April on the 22nd of April my daughter was also diagnosed with ovarian cancer. I knew that she would suffer from cancer. I had told her to be very cautious in the last few years and the coming year, <clears throat> especially in the coming year when Jupiter will be over Jupiter and Rahu will join Jupiter and when ja Rahu will eclipse Jupiter. So on the 22nd of April 2023, Rahu had eclipsed Jupiter and she was diagnosed with cancer. I had shifted my residence on the 13th of April and there was no such sign till 17th of April when she helped me shift my house and on the 18th I convinced her to go for a checkup because at the time of Changing my residence, Jupiter was combusted and I could feel that my child could suffer some troubles. But whenever Jupiter is combusted or in Rahu Ketu axis, it is a time for trouble for children. Although I don't have any such combinations in my chart, but the progression chart did show that my daughter will suffer from cancer. So I have done some more research. My teacher in the Bharti Vidya Bhavan has researched and he has given some three, four parameters, but I have added some more parameters because, uh, because being in the family and uh, some friends also suffered from cancer. So I did some research and found that some 11 parameters are very important. I would also like to tell you that when I was in Bharti Vita Bhavan in 2009, when I was in my class, the two girls sitting next to me, they were talking about some cancer disease and one of the girls said that her mother suffered from cancer. My research then was that whenever Rahu and Ketu change sign, then it is the time for activating the cancer because Rahu is rogue Harnam, Ketu is rogue Karnam. Ketu gives the disease and Rahu brings it out to wash it. But if you have a bad Rahu in your chart, then probably the <coughs> cure may not be very good until unless it has aspect of Jupiter. So they were talking about it and I said, uh, I intervened and I said, sorry for intervening. I will tell you when your mother-in-law got cancer. I said, do you have a Aries Lagna? She said, yes. Now, fourth house from seventh house is the, fourth house from the seventh house is the house of mother-in-law. So the 10th house of the native, I said on 6th of May, 2008, Rahu and Ketu changed signs from, uh, <clears throat> from Aquarius Leo axis to Capricorn Cancer axis. So I said this is the time of triggering and normally it takes place when it triggers at the time of change or when it eclipses some planet which is in Sarp Dereshkun or 
सैटन इज द ग्रेसफुल लॉर्ड और जुपिटर इज इन सर्व ग्रेसफुल केतु इन सर्व ग्रेसफुल एंड मून इन सर्व ग्रेसफुल आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड स्पेशली द सिक्स लॉर्ड इन द सर्व ग्रेसफुल इज प्रोन टू ऑल दिस of course we have other parameters total about 11 parameters and the transit is also very important so i have done some research and i want people to be helped so that uh, you know the doctor only tells you when you are when this is, he can only help you when the cancer is diagnosed but astrology can help you to improve your habits eating habits your environment your period in which you are going to suffer you can have regular checkup so that the cancer is detected at an early age although it cannot be avoided some if you get a advice from the doctor that which for women ovarian cancer cancer in the uterus and breast cancer are very common so and in case of males prostate cancer is very common so especially these cancers can be diagnosed very easily in the time period no prostate cancer normally takes place in men over the age of 50 60 and ovarian cancer and cancer in uterus are on the after the 48th year especially you know you have to take the lcm of saturn rahu and jupiter that is very important and then the years in which venus and jupiter are at declination point venus is the reproductive organ jupiter controls the fifth house and ketu is the disease kara so all these parameters are very useful the dasha at birth 22nd dresh ko the planets in sarth dresh ko now i will tell you in the case of my daughter saturn transit from the 17th january 2023 was in the sign aquarius and aquarius is her eighth house she is suffering from sade sati and saturn is transiting in the 22nd dresh ko which is his own sign and the dasha of jupiter uh, jupiter is in is running the main dasha is jupiter he is the ninth lord and the sixth lord and the parthantar was mars because over mars the eclipse took place very recent three four eclipses took place i had told her that whenever eclipse take place over the natal mars it is the time for trouble i have made some predictions also and all the predictions have to come out true especially in case of gautam advani and the president or prime minister of uk these two so uh, what my feeling is that if a proper study is done by an astrologer after research after using the research by bharti vidya bhavan my teacher mr goy and adding some more research a time frame and some organ can also be diagnosed where the particular cancer can take place although lot of research is required because i am not a doctor if a doctor and an astrologer get together they can do wonderful they can do miracles and control the cancer disease but more or less it is just like driving a car you are driving at a speed of 120 kilometers and if you know that there is going the road is not a rough road is going to and you are going to have bumps after few kilometers or few meters then you can be cautious you will drive slow and although you will have to go through the ditch or you will have to have bumps but the bumps will be in a acceptable tone when you drive slow so similarly if cancer is known beforehand that if you are going to suffer from cancer 
if you are eating tobacco, you should stop eating tobacco. If you are smoking, you should stop smoking. So, and be very vigilant about your lungs. And similarly, if you have <coughs> uh, throat problems, you can have throat. And especially the third house of the uh, Kalpesh Mercury, if it is afflicted, and the third house is afflicted, and Rahu Ketu come over the third house, then it is time for trouble, and especially the Chitra Dasha or the Dasha of a most malefic planet can really harm a person and bring agony and pain. So my feeling is that all astrologers who are interested to learn the technique may please contact me and those who are suffering from cancer or who, who are prone to cancer they can check their horoscopes by seeing all these details. I don't want to depress anybody, but looking at the positive part, I think since we had known about my daughter, we immediately rushed because she had pain in her st stomach. So we got the immediately KUV done and we found a tumor in her ovaries, over the ovaries. And the operation was done and by grace of God, till now everything is okay and let's hope everything is okay for healing up and the future. So I was uh, thinking that why not to caution all the people and do some analysis for people who can be prone so that they take care of it and they are out of major troubles. So this is, this is all I just wanted to share. Thank you very much for listening to me. Have a good day. Bye-bye and best of luck.